I am Evelyn Heijlen, Head of Research at Centrica Business Solutions. And in this video, I will explain the basics of ancillary services for power systems. These services are essential to keep your lights on when transitioning to a sustainable energy system. But first, let us look at how the power system is changing. Initially, conventional power plants such as nuclear or coal power plants provided energy to the end users and the necessary ancillary services to keep power systems secure and stable. However, large and centralized conventional power plants are increasingly replaced by renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar energy. These renewable energy providers are smaller, more distributed and have different technical properties when compared to conventional power plants. Besides this evolution at the generation side, the demand side is also radically changing, with the installation of batteries, heat pumps, electric boilers and electric vehicles. The energy buffer of these assets makes them flexible, as it allows them to control their energy usage, considering the needs of the power system. Centrica valorizes this flexible demand to help with keeping the system secure and stable. We do this by developing virtual power plants that combine multiple of these flexible assets. The virtual power plant can deliver energy and ancillary services similar to the ones offered by conventional power plants. In the remainder of this video, we will discuss some of the ancillary services that are crucial for a secure and reliable operation of the power grid. We need these ancillary services, amongst others, to keep the system in balance. If we look at the power system on the right, we see loads and generation units. To keep your lights on, it is essential to balance the demand for power and supply of power at each point in time. As long as the system is in balance, the frequency in the system remains constant, around 50 Hz in Europe. However, if an imbalance exists between demand and supply, the frequency starts to deviate. For example, if demand for electrical energy is larger than supply, the frequency will decrease. If the frequency drops below a specific limit, the electricity supply of certain end users will be interrupted to restore the balance. These interruptions can prevent a further drop of the frequency and a complete blackout of the system. To prevent interruptions of end users due to frequency deviations, system operators rely upon ancillary services. One of these services is the frequency containment response. Frequency containment response can be delivered by different types of flexible assets, of which batteries are one type. The battery should be available to inject or consume additional power upon request. The response must always be available, which requires that the battery is not running full or empty. When there is a frequency deviation, the battery will react. It will start charging if the frequency exceeds 50 Hz and discharges if the frequency is below 50 Hz. In this way, it can help restore the power balance, which limits the frequency deviation. Another service to facilitate the energy transition cost-effectively is peak shaving. Typically, the power system faces a consumption peak on weekday evenings when people come home from work. This peak load is expected to increase further if people simultaneously plug in their electric vehicles to charge at that time. This increase may cause the current power system infrastructure, infrastructure to be overloaded. To avoid this, peak shaving aims to reduce the peak load by shifting flexible energy demand to periods with low demand. A battery can support peak shaving. It can store energy during low demand periods and release it to the end user during the peak periods. Peak shaving has a positive effect on the efficient use of the energy system and the electricity bill of the end users. Without peak shaving, the power system would require significant investments to ensure the security of the power supply. To finance these investments in the power system, system operators may charge a tariff 
that depends on the end user's peak load. This gives end users the incentive to reduce their consumption peak. With peak shaving, this is not needed, as part of the stress is relieved from the system. Peak shaving can thus limit the need for system investments and positively affects the energy bill of the end users. To summarize, in this clip, we have discussed the basics of power grid operation. Power balance must be kept at all times to prevent the disconnection of loads or worse, power blackouts. For this purpose, purpose, batteries can be used to limit changes in frequency. Moreover, they can be used for peak shaving. The batteries charge in periods of low demand and discharge during peak hours. This way, there is less stress on the grid, causing lower prices and leaving you with more money to enjoy the things you love.